here we have got a question which was asked in the IOQM last year. So basically you've got three equations over here in A, B and C and we want to find the values of A, B, C. So we can do a couple of substitutions over here. So basically if I take this equation, the first equation over here, can I write 6B minus 3AB and that is equal to 2 over here? So we have got B in terms of A and C in terms of A. So can I put B and C over here in terms of A in the second equation? So basically we need to solve this quadratic equation first. 42A square minus 90A plus 48. So here we have got a question which was asked in the IOQM last year. So basically there are more than one approach to do this question. I'm explaining one of them. So basically you've got three equations over here in A, B and C and we want to find the values of A, B, C. So basically it is given that two possible values of A, B, C are there according to this question. So we can do a couple of substitutions over here. So we have got this first equation over here. Can I write B in terms of A from this equation? So basically if I take this equation, the first equation over here, can I write 6B minus 3AB and that is equal to 2 over here? So from here if I take B as common, I will be getting 2 by 6 minus 3A. So this is the first thing. Now if I take the third equation over here, can I write C in terms of A from here? So if I write C in terms of A from this equation, so basically we can write C is equal to, C can be written as 4A minus 2, 4A minus 2 divided by 3A over here, correct? Now basically you see that this is the uh, second equation over here. So we have got B in terms of A and C in terms of A. So can I put B and C over here in terms of A in the second equation? So what we are going to get over here guys? So we are going to get 3 into B we have got 2 by 6 minus 3A over here. And then we have got C is equal to 4A minus 2 divided by 3A over here plus 2 and that is equal to 5C according to the given question. So that is 5 into 4a minus 2 divided by 3a over here. I hope this situation is clear to everybody. So you see now this is an equation in one variable and that is a. So we need to solve this equation for a. That's it. So let's do that over here guys. Let's simplify it further. So basically you see this will be 6. This is 6 and if I open up the bracket. So 6 4s are 24a minus 6 2s are uh, 12 over here. And basically, if I take the LCM over here, what we are going to get? We are going to get plus, if I multiply them, we are going to get 6A and that is 6 minus 3A over here, right? And in the denominator, we are going to get 6 minus 3A into 3A over here. I hope this is clear. And over here also, we can open up the bracket. So we are going to get 5 4s are 20A minus 5 2s are 10 divided by 3A. So you see we can cancel out 3 over here and we'll obviously be cross multiplying and then simplifying these things. Let's do that. So you see over here we are going to get 24a minus 12 plus 6 6 are 36a minus 6 3 are 18a square over here. And that is equal to if I cross multiply let's do patiently over here. So we are going to get 6 2 are 12 that is 120a over here. 120a minus 60 and then that will be minus uh, 60a square minus 60a square and that will be plus 30a. So that is plus 30a. So this is the situation up till here. Let's simplify it further. So we are going to get over here guys, we are going to get minus 18a square minus 18a square and then we are going to get plus 60a minus 12 and that is equal to I need to simplify this side of the equation over here. So we are going to get basically minus 60a square minus 60a square and this will be 150a 
this is 150a minus 60. I hope this is clear up till here guys. Now let's do on the uh, next slide. We need to simplify this thing. Basically, we'll take this whole thing on this side of the equation. So maybe I'll do over here only so that it is not confusing, right? So basically, if I take 60a square over here, so 60 minus 18, that is going to be 42. So this is 42a square over here. And if I take this over here, one minus 150 plus 60. So that is going to be minus 90a over here. And if I take this over here, so 60 minus 12, that is going to be 48. So plus 48 and that is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation in A over here and let's solve this guys. So basically we need to solve this quadratic equation first. 42A square minus 90A plus 48. So this is basically 42A square minus 90A plus 48 that is equal to 0. So before actually uh, solving this can we divide on both these sides by uh, 6 that would be better. So 6 7s are 42 and 15 a over here and 6 8s are 48 and that is equal to 0. Now you see this can be easily uh, factorized because over here you see uh, 8 7s are 56 and 15 can be breaked into uh, 7 and 8 over here right that is very simple now. So can I write it 7 a square minus 7 a minus 8 a plus 8 that is equal to 0. So you see this is the first group this is the second group over here. So out of the first group we can take 7 as common 7 a as common. So a minus 1 will be left out of the second group I can take minus 8 as common. So a minus 1 will be left and that is equal to 0 over here. Now out of the whole expression in the left hand side of this quadratic equation I can take a minus 1 as common. So we will be left with 7a minus 8 that is equal to 0. So basically two possible values of a we are getting that is 1 and the second value is 8 by 7. Now basically this is not the answer guys. We want the corresponding values of b and c as well. So let's see uh, what was b over here. b is equal to 2 upon 6 minus 3a. b is equal to 2 upon 6 minus 3a. So that is 2 upon 6 minus 3a. So what are the two values of b possible? If I put a is equal to 1 in this expression, what is the value of b? If I put a is equal to 1. So the first situation for b is what? If I put a is equal to 1, so 2 by 6 minus 3, so that is 2 by 3 only over here. I hope this is clear. Now if I put a is equal to 8 by 7 in this, so let's do that. So the second value of b over here will be 2 by 6 minus 3 into a over here we have got 8 by 7. So let's simplify and solve this. You see 7 will go in the numerator. So you'll get uh, 7 2s are 14 and in the denominator you are getting uh, 7 6s are uh, 42 minus 8 3s are 24. So 42 minus 24 will be what guys? Uh, you are going to get uh, 18 over here, right? So this is 18. So 2 7s are 14, 2 9s are 18. So the second value of b possible over here is 7 by 9. I hope this is clear. So first value of b is 2 by 3. Second value of b is 7 by 9. Now let's find the possible values of c over here. So c which we have got according to this question was what guys? c was in terms of a we have got c is equal to 4a minus 2 upon 3a. 4a minus 2 upon 3a. So let's do it over here. 4a minus 2 upon 3a. So the first value of c which is possible over here if I put a is equal to 1. So that will be 4 minus 2 that is uh, 2 over here and that will be 3 in the denominator. So this is the first value of c which is possible. Now the second value of c which is possible over here if I put a is equal to 8 by 7. So let's do that over here guys. If I put a is equal to 8 by 7 over here minus 2 divided by 3 into 8 by 7. Let's simplify this and solve this guys. So 8 4s are 32. This will be 32 minus uh, 7 2s are 14. And in the denominator basically we have got 8 3s are 24. 7 7 will get cancelled out. I hope it is clear to you. Now what is this equal to guys? This will be uh, this you will get over here. 
So that is 18 by 24 and this will be 6 3s are 18, 6 4s are 24. So 3 by 4 is the second value of C possible over here. Now we have to find the values of A, B and C. So you see the first value of A is 1, the first value of B is 2 by 3 and the first value of C over here is 2 by 3 only. I hope this is clear. So let's do on the uh, next slide guys so that is it is not confusing. So the first value of A, B, C will be what guys over here? A was 1 only and B was what, what over there guys? B was 2 by 3 and C was 2 by 3 as well. So that is 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 over here. So that is nothing but equal to 4 by 9 and it was given in the question that they are co-prime integers, right? So you see 4 and 9, they are co-prime only, we don't have to bother. So this is the first value of ABC possible. What is the second value of ABC over here guys? According to the question. So the second value of A which we have got that is 8 by 7. B is 7 by 9. So 8 by 7, 7 by 9 and 3 by 4. Remember it 8 by 7, 7 by 9 and 3 by 4. So let's do it over here. 8 by 7, 7 by 9 and 3 by 4 over here. So let's simplify this thing guys. So you see this will be cancelled out over here and this is 3, 3's are 9 over here and this is 4, 1's are 4, 4, 2's are 8. So this is coming out to be equal to 2 by 3. This is coming out to be equal to 2 by 3 and you see 2 and 3 they are co-prime integers only. Now basically these two they are written as according to the question they are written as R by S and T by U where they are R and S they are co-primes, T and U they are co-primes because it is written that they are written in the lowest form. So we have to find the value of R plus S plus T plus U. So we have to just add them up. R plus S plus T plus U. So R plus S plus T plus U. That will be what guys? It will be just the sum of these values. So that is 4 plus 9 plus 2 plus 3. So what is that equal to guys? So this is nothing but 18 and that is the answer that is the value of r plus s plus t plus u i hope this is clear to every student watching this video